Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Secret of Mana. We are going into a huge cutscene here. So, having said that, we're gonna do it. We have conquered the Pure Land at last, or we made it through. Where are we? I have no idea. It sure isn't funky light, it doesn't scatter quite right. <laughs> Look over there! I love how they... It's the mana tree. I love how they, like, synchronize the music, or the synchronize the dialogue so that all the credity parts of the music come at the same time as the anthemic parts of the dialogue. By the way, on that last video, I'm sorry about the breathing on that. I don't know if it was something like my microphone sensitivity was too high. I'm gonna turn this down a little more. Maybe that'll help. Let's revive the mana sword. It's like a dream. Hey, is that color palette changing the color of the sky up there? I don't remember it being red like that. Can we really be here? Tim, we've done it! I'm so glad I met you! And you too, Ethan. Ethan. Yeah. I feel so lucky to have met you two. So many things have happened since we started. But we never gave up hope. And now we have just one more job to do. Dream on! We'll ask the mana tree to help revive the sword. Then we can destroy the fortress! Yeah, I didn't think about this. It's gonna be different dialogue because of the patch and all. It's been so long since we've had any dialogue, you know, because I've been fighting bosses and stuff. Oh, what is that? It's that same sound we heard at the beginning of the game. Ha ha ha! What a delightfully touching scene this is! Why, it brings a real tear to my eye! That's the voice of Thanatos, from the fortress! He followed us here? I've waited a long time for this. Now the old legend of the Holy Sword is at an end. Behold the awesome might of the Mana Fortress and the dawn of a new age of despair! I don't want to raise my voice too much because I don't want to wake up the neighbors. No! Help me! Ah! Oh boy. And when we finally wake up, we are seemingly at the trunk of the mana tree, and it doesn't look good. No, it doesn't look good at all. Please, wake up! Yeah, in the original dialogue, that was glitchy. It would show wake up, and then it disappeared right away. You could hardly see it. Where are we now? There's no mana tree. What the? After all we've been through, Xanatos killed it! Then what's going to happen to everyone now? We can't destroy the fortress! Oh no... But wait... But soft, what light through yonder window breaks? Tim, my dear Tim, it is I, the mana tree. It's already too late to destroy the mana fortress. It has now consumed most of world's mana. Even as we speak, all the beasts of the world are combining into a single creature, the mana beast. Only the great mana beast is able to bring back mana, but it has little control over its rage. If it were to attack the fortress now, the world would be finished. The only way to avoid this is to destroy the beast using the mana sword you now hold. The sword's true potential can only be released and used by the people of the tribe of mana. I wish your father, the legendary knight Saren, were standing here now to see how you've grown. He was badly wounded 15 years ago by the emperor in a great battle, but vowed to stop him. On his way to a final showdown, Saren was ambushed by Thanatos and killed. That was in Pados. Are you saying that the ghost I saw by the falls near the sword was my dad? Yes, that was your father, Saren. I was his wife. And I am your mother, Tim. We are of the Mana Tribe. The women of our kind become the tree, the protectors of this world, and all life on it. The men wield the sword and protect against evil. You must stop Thanatos and destroy the Mana Beast. You're the only one that can do this. With my last energy, I can only restore the life and power of the Seeds of Mana to aid you. All mana seeds. Restored. You know, I probably should have gone around and showed you, because you can go look at those seeds and it'll say it's no good, you can't get their power. I'm so sorry, I haven't been much of a mother to you. Mother, is that really you? Please! Oh no! Mother? I keep forgetting that, I probably have to push the button. Why won't you talk to me? Mother! Tim, 
mother of might. Oh my god. This is nuts! Snap out of it! She just asked us to do something! Michelle doesn't even have a mother. And then he looks at us and says, Neither do I. Oh, it's a guilt trip. Sorry. Yeah, I, I know what those are like. <laughs> I'll be okay. I've got a lot to live up to, and we have a big job ahead of us. Now you're talking number one! Yeah, I feel like I just met my mom too. I know she's in my heart. Alright, let's do it! Yeah! Cowabunga! No, I was, I was trying to think of something there, I'm telling you. Oh, you can't use a magic rope here, what are you thinking? Anyway, so, we call Flammy, and now... Your next order of business is either to build your spells up to level 8, because now you can, or you can go to the Mana Fortress, and this time, you can get inside. Notice that sometimes it moves like when the lightning flashes, it's kind of scary. I'm not going to go there just yet. Uh, actually, I don't know what I'm going to do. I know I'm going to build my spells to level 8, but I don't want to do that on screen. I'm going to grind that, that's going to take a while, but... Well, I guess it won't take that long. I guess you can go down here now and see what new developments have occurred. See what Gemma has to say about all this. It's a forbidden place. Aw. Well, I've been there already. Is everyone okay? Yeah, we're good. So nobody changes anything that they say? I can't remember. Um. Wow, so, uh. Wow, I'm kind of stupefied here. Let me think. I mean, I'm sure you don't want to have to watch me build my spells to level 8. I mean, that would just be redonkulous. Pretty much any time you take off, the fortress will always be like right in front of you. So if you, so if you can't find it, all you gotta do is land and then just take off again, and it'll be right there. And then get as high up as you can and slowly approach it, and eventually it'll just land automatically for you. And this will be the one time you actually get to get a good look at Flammy here, since normally he just flies right across the screen so fast you can't even see him. And this is the Man of Fortress right here, where you wouldn't have been able to get in here before. Now you can. We got some Captain Ducks here. These guys are annoying. Again, with the high defense. Dude, you should be dead, man. You just got critical slapped a second ago. Critical slapped. This would be a good time to look around for um, extra orbs for the weapons, too. Well, it might be a good idea. You know, I didn't think about this, but maybe to forge the weapons that I got here. Oh, hello. 254. Yeah, there's, some, there's a lot of monsters out here. Just a whole bunch of all kinds of stuff. Wait, we just walked past the door, didn't we? Oh no, it's up there. Okay. Well, I guess I can show you a little bit of this before we kind of delve into things here. Do you actually get orbs from the bosses in this place? Because I wasn't even thinking about that. Dude, are you going to stop doing that? Oh my god, you're getting on my nerves. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, oh, if you see a treasure chest in this place, always pick it up. Because you never know. Chocolate. Anyway, that's the door right there. And in this first room, you have these two crabs here. So what I always... Actually, what I did when I was little, and I didn't know about Vestgard, and I thought you had to get it from these guys, I would just walk in with the spear and charge it to level 6, and then just get right between them, and it would get both of them in one shot. Obviously, now, it's not... Not the most practical way, but... Yeah, we got some enemies here, some water, water enemies and stuff. So in the time it takes to actually find all the treasure chests with the orbs, chances are you're going to level up like crazy. You might even max out your level before you even find them all, because it, it could take that long. But, but alas, what are you going to do, you know? If you put in a Game Genie code, I don't know, I, don't I haven't seen any codes like that, though. Codes that make, make monsters drop treasure chests. Several times you'll have to step on a switch, like this little purple switch in the floor right here. You'll have to step on that to uh, make a new platform appear so that you can progress in the dungeon. And that's how a lot of this goes in the Mana Fortress. But you won't be able to actually get back by any means. Well, not by that means. So here's an eyeball down here. Or, oh, I'm sure that's not what he's called. He's probably got a name. He's, uh, he's called Whimper. Yeah. 
Anyway, so that's a little preview of the Mana Fortress. So, uh, next time I come back, I'm gonna have... Well, I'm not gonna have all the orbs I was just talking about. I don't know how I'm gonna show that, because I know... I'm just gonna be going around looking for them. But, I can't... There's no way I could possibly know when the treasure chest is gonna drop, and much less if it's gonna have an orb in it. But I don't want to sit there and be recording all that time just to have 30 seconds of video the 30 seconds of video leading up to when I found it, so I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do that. I might just point out which monsters carry which orbs, so that that way you can have that information, and then, you know, and then I can just forge them off screen and show you the moves and all that, and I'll show you the special effects for the level 8 spells when they're maxed out. Anyway, but I'm out of time, so i got to stop here. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time on Secret of Mana. Take care.